Hello, I'm Paul the Satletic and today we'll be going through installation of HPA system Wolf from Spark Labs. We'll install it into M4 platform gun. That's pneumatic hose and the main engine. Right here we have fire control unit. This is programming unit. Here is buffer tube nut. This is nozzle key. Here are some accessories. This is a holder for trigger with magnet. These are stickers for selector plate. And also there is some shims to shim the screw which screws fire control unit. Okay, so let's proceed with installation. This is our gearbox, uh, I already dis disassembled the gun and the first thing uh, you do after taking out all the AEG components you need to uh, wipe uh, your gearbox uh, using toilet paper um, so we, we don't have any grease uh, clean, clean the rails, clean Clean the guides for what's that? Uh, tappet plate. Yeah, tappet plate. The next thing we must check if there are any uh, burr left from molding process. So uh, what we need to check mostly is the area where fire control unit will be installed. If we place the fire control unit into gearbox, we will see where it will be installed. And we need to check if there are any burr inside the gearbox. Why do we need to check this? We need to remove it because when we place the fire control unit into gearbox, if a burr or some sharp spikes aren't removed, uh, this will damage the fire control unit. So this is this is one of the common mistakes that uh, users usually don't check, and then they got a fried fire control unit. The mostly we can check here the this this edge. Okay, this one seems uh, pretty good, no, so not so much burr, but anyway we'll use some uh, sanding paper and to make sure that there is really no burr. So we have sanding paper here. The next thing we need to also check is is the burr which which is in this rail for the selector plate. 
we need to remove uh, this bar so the selector plate will move better Now that we have uh, grinded off uh, burrs, we clean clean uh, the gearbox again with toilet paper, of course. So now we have pretty much clean gearbox, free of burr on the places which could uh, be critical. Okay, next thing, what we will do is check how the fire control unit fits inside the gearbox. We take the fire control unit and place it inside. This one seems to fit without any problems. Uh, some some uh, gearboxes have um, have um, let's say some uh, different uh, type of hole here, and if the fire control unit's uh, hole this one doesn't fit, you need to remove uh, that pin from the gearbox and make it flush with the gearbox. It's so it is like this one. Okay, so uh, the next thing we will check now is how good the engine sits fits inside the gearbox. Now that we don't have any other components inside, we place the engine inside, and it should have a nice, nice uh, fitting. So if I place it, it should be something like this. And then what we do next is take the other half and place it over and and what we need to check now is if there is any gap in between the halves of gearbox. Uh, and if gap cannot be compressed by hand, that means that something is preventing gearbox from closing. In this case, uh, the gearbox closes perfectly without any issues. So that's it for this video. Make sure to check next part. Link is in the description. Bye.